Hello. Noah here, and welcome back to Conflict of Interest. This is episode four, I think, and I am here again with Net Neutrality, and we're going to get into this court segment. This is probably going to be a bit of a shorter episode, definitely a lot shorter than the last three, but still like maybe an hour or so, so let's just get into it. Are you ready, Mr. Parker? Am I, am I ready? <laughs> I'll take that as a no. It's okay, Mr. Parker. We'll prove you're innocent. Ah, uh, I knew I could count on you guys. He doesn't sound too sure about that. Do you know who's testifying today? I'm pretty sure it's going to be Mr. Keys. Mrs. Keys, not Mr. Keys. <laughs> not Simon. <laughs> yes, yes, you already made that joke last time. Couldn't help it. Sarah, I could see that. She never did like me. Really? She didn't seem too antagonistic when we spoke yesterday. Yes, she did. What are you talking about? Yeah, she, she kept saying he did it, and... <laughs> She's good at hiding her true feelings. You have to be when you're in this business. I guess Phoenix doesn't want Mr. Parker to cry anymore. Uh, that's kind of unavoidable. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sure there's a lot that little Sarah wasn't telling you. She did have those psyche locks. We never found out what was behind them. Oh yeah, she did have those. I wonder what she's hiding. And if it has anything to do with why she doesn't like Mr. Parker. Maybe during the next day of investigation. Yeah. Hey, Nick, I was thinking. Yes? Is it really that bad that someone killed Mr. Rivales? I mean, it's probably a net positive on the world, but you, we, you, we still got to defend this guy, so... If he was as bad as Cody says, then everybody's probably better off without him. As I said, a net positive on the world. Murder is murder, Maya. It doesn't matter if the victim deserved it or not. But Sir Galante is kind of a hero, isn't he? He's getting rid of organized crime in the city. He's like Batman. Mr. Edgeworth had a friend who broke the law to help others. Yes. But she didn't impale the people that she stole from. Also, Kay never really broke the law. I guess uh, uh, she... Uh, I guess not really. No. I mean, that depends no, the, on... The, huh? The one time that she got accused of murder, it was it, it, it was all a frame job by Blaze de Best. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, so, yeah, she never... Well, no, she was accused of murder in the the first game, I think, once. But any, anyway, anyway. Uh, let's continue. Uh, okay. Okay. Civilians shouldn't try to take the law into their own hands. We have the police and courts for a reason. It's almost time. We should head in. Oh, shit. I just realized. I have no idea what voice I'm going to give the prosecutor. I did not plan for this. So, whatever voice I give him, it's probably not going to be final. Probably. That's all right. Got to get the feeling for his character. Court is now in session for the trial of Wayne Parker. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Uh, the prosecution is ready. I don't know. Maybe I'll just give him the Brisbane voice. I don't know. You may give your opening you can, statement. But, huh? but I. But I'll tell you right now, you'll be doing a lot less yelling. Okay, so he's more of like a chill guy. Okay, you may give your opening statements. Your Honor, we have been told, thou shalt not kill. Everybody here has heard of the so-called superhero Sir Galante, who goes through our streets, slaying criminals. While his intentions may have been good, his actions are still inexcusable. What he does is not heroics. It is an affront to our entire legal system. As evil as the victim, Michael Ravales may have been, Intentionally taking another human's life is never the correct course of action. Galante evaded us for some time, but in the end he has been captured. Today, you see him before you for what he truly is. Nothing more than a scared, pitiful husk of a man. Damn! 
Why, it's certainly hard to believe that the quivering man would be capable of murder. Looks can be deceiving. He may appear meek, but he's indeed a vicious killer. The prosecution will prove to you today that the defendant, Wayne Parker, is not only the culprit in this case, but also in all of Sir Galante's many killings. Thank you, Mr. Williamson. It appears that you have everything under control today. As always, Your Honor. Wow, Nick. Detective Waters was right. This guy is good. I'll definitely have to be on my toes here. Does the defense have an opening statement? Your Honor, the defense believes that Mr. Parker is innocent. Guilty of nothing more than being in the wrong place at the wrong time. I believe that the evidence shown today will prove this. You believe? I... yes. Why? If you truly have the evidence you say you do, then you should not believe. You should know. I'm... I'm sorry? You should have all... You should have had all your answers before you walked through that door. Your normal tactics won't work today, right? I'm going to reveal you for the sham that you are. Sham? What did I do to you? Have you two met before? No, Your Honor. Never. It wouldn't be a Phoenix Wright game if the prosecutor <laughs> didn't harbor some kind of grudge against Phoenix. <laughs> Just hating on him for no goddamn reason. Oh, he has his reasons, but maybe you'll find out in the final case. Okay. All right. What was that all about? I'm not sure, but I get the feeling that he isn't too fond of me. I never even met you. You weren't a sham. Well, I mean, I, I kind of, I kind of bluff and bullshit my way through all my cases, but, but that's that's neither here nor there. Thank you. Good old Maya will always be there for me. Enough chit chat. We've wasted enough time already. Yes, enough chit chat, Mister Wright. He started it. The victim, whom I'm sure you've all heard of, was Michael Rivales. Crime king of the underworld in this city. The defendant was caught entering the Rivales penthouse on the 30th, 30th story of the tower. The 30th story? That would be no easy task to climb up. Certainly not. Nobody could be up there by mere accident. Which, of course, means that this was premeditated. Wait just a minute. You don't know that. There's plenty of other reasons he could be up there. Is that so? Like what? Mr. Parker worked in the tower. Is it really that strange he was there? I'm glad you brought it up. The suspect was there for a meeting with his boss. A meeting which was requested by him. Any questions? Uh, uh, crap. That's what I thought. Damn it, I can't let him get the upper hand this early. I'd like to hear more about the arrest. For that, I have a witness. She can tell you everything you need to know. Very well, bring her in. I'm for the, gl the glorious return. Oh, you, oh, All right. I, oh, I wanted to, I wanted to do Mark Waters, but he'll show up later. Certainly. All right. Let's see if I can do this twice. In, let's see if <laughs> lightning can strike twice. Um. Um. Hi, everybody. Please state your name and occupation for the court. Dad Wall. Oh, I can That's give you my no phone number if you want. Shut the fuck up. No thank you. Your name and occupation will suffice. Oh, you sure? Yes, I'm sure. Yes. Okay, because just say Name I'm and occupation. Taken, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> well... My name's Sarah Keys. Oh, I was Keys, Mr. Ravella's secretary before he got gutted, that is. Can you not smile when you say that? Thank you for that image. I must say, it's so wonderful to be testigating here today. Testig- sorry? I'm so- uh, Why am I- ugh. Just think, Gotta get uh, this right. just think Harlequin. Or Scarlett Johansson with a- a New York accent. I haven't seen Batman, I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I'm so glad I could witness this moitus and help y'all solve it. Miss Keys, no sane 
No sane person wants to witness a murder. Please keep comments like that to yourself, you fucking psycho. Well, excuse me, princess. Oh my, oh my god. <laughs> Angry prosecutor man just doesn't get me, does he, Feeny Poo? <laughs> Don't drag me into this. Feeny Poo. It's what she calls me. He's the greatest future boyfriend a future girlfriend could hope for, you know? Shut up. Right, you haven't attempted to seduce this witness, have you? What? No. Mr. Wright, do you have any idea how a more something like that is? N no, Your Honor, I didn't. It's okay, Feeny Poo. Stop, no. You don't need to hide the fact that I've stolen your precious little heart. Can we please just start the damn testimony? Yes, let's. Miss Keys, please tell us about when you saw the defendant that night. Okie dokie, Loki. Oh, I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. There's a bunch of superhero references today. Oh, I think it's pretty obvious that Wayne did it. He came up and met with Mr. Ravellas right before he died. We have cameras watching each room, so there's lots of footage of him. They were the only two there, so he's the only one who could have done it. Did I do it right, Mr. Angry Prosecutor? <laughs> I'd prefer Prosecutor Williamson, but yes, you did fine. Yippee! Yippee! That was a very thorough testimony. I didn't see any room for doubt in it. Right. Yes? What are you waiting for? Cross-examination. I was planning on it. Also, the judge is supposed to say that. Yeah. <laughs> But, but prosecutors always run these what trials the in the What the fuck is this line? What the fuck? What, what the hell? He's, he's <laughs> gonna cross-examine me? That sounds kinky. Oh my god. <laughs> Believe me. Believe me, sir. It's probably nothing like whatever you're imagining. You freak. <laughs> Aren't you glad you don't have to voice her? In, it would probably be fun, but I don't think I can do a convincing Boston or New York accent. So it's probably good that I'm not doing your voice. Please leave your speculations to yourself, Sarah. They're going to turn all the jurists against me. Huh? But isn't that what we do in court? No. What we do in court is find the facts of the case through evidence. Please leave your personal thoughts out in the future. Oh, well, the rest of it was fine, right? Yes, I thought so. I didn't. But no one ever cares what Phoenix thinks. Did you Bad. see the meeting? Nope. Mr. Ravallis didn't like it when people eavesdropped on his personal conversations. I think he's supposed uh, think to say that's this. You. I think that's you. He, he was a mob boss after all. Oh, wait, no, no, no. Oh, wait, no, that was me. Why didn't it... He was a mob boss after all. Right. So, I wasn't able to actually see Wayne kill him. But he did go in there. Did you... Do you know what they... To all, what... Whoa! Do you know what they talked about? Nope. He just came. He just came in and I was all like, "I've got to kill Australians," and I was like, "Well, really?" And I was like, "No." And he was like, "Yeah, huh?" And I was like, "That's that's enough, thank you." The point is that the defendant met with the victim. I thought I said things just fine. When you say lots of footage. Lots of heart. How much do you mean? <laughs> Gotta make that joke every video. <laughs> every episode. <laughs> you know, like lots. 
tons mucho. Lots of tons mucho. I showed you that clip yesterday, remember? Here he is. That doesn't prove anything. That certainly is the defendant. He's the only poison we have a video of from that morning. That video doesn't show the crime. It's just a clip of my client entering the room. Oh my god. What, what do you think? think? Oh my, that is quite a voice. I mean, I could do what I did for Van Zeeks and just go super deep, but I don't know if that would fit him. So, I'm going to keep going with what I... What? You'll figure it out. I'm just going to keep going with what I have and then adapt it. Were you paying that attention? That was Rob... Huh? That was Rob Fuzz voice, by the way. Damn, what a deep-ass voice. Were you paying Indeed. attention? She said the defendant was the only person to go in there. I agree. She was quite clear on this point. Actually, she didn't say that he's the only one who entered the room. Just that he's the only one they have a video of. Are you... Are you sure about that? Yep. Well, damn. Great. This alone should be enough for a guilty sentence. Indeed. Once Mr. Wright is done with his cross-examination, the jurors can probably decide their verdict. In that case, I'd better find something quick. Finish this up, Wright. There's no need to drag it out. This seems like a rather solid testimony. It's not what I would have liked to start off with, but I have to work with what they gave me. Did you see anything wrong with it? Actually, I did notice something strange. Well, go on, present something. I did not notice anything, I have to be honest. I was more focusing on voice acting. Of course. So, go, go ahead and read the safe statement silently. Oh, you think that the statement to, to present something on is this one? No. No, 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 okay, no, so no, I was just looking at my evidence. Okay. I think it could be this one, but not 100% sure. I feel like the photo could go here, but, you know, hold on, I'm going to save. Uh, do, does the photo prove that that figure was, entered the tower? No, but it proved he was there. Why did I exit that again? Hold on. Wait. There we go. I'm going to try the... Wait. Except the penthouse at the top. Mmm. Nope. Okay. Then I'll try the camera. Actually, huh? we might have seen some new dialogue there. We can sh we can see the failure dialogue just once. This evidence proves that the witness is lying. Actually, no. However, it does prove that you're an idiot. Damn! Damn! Wow! Excuse me? I think what he's trying to say is that a penalty is in order here. That didn't quite go as planned. God damn! That was brutal! Did we mention that Obadiah has a grudge against you? Uh, yeah, but... I, I, damn! Like... Still gotta, like, keep some semblance of professionalism. Um, some semblance of professionalism in a game franchise where you get whipped <laughs> and you get scalding hot coffee thrown at you <laughs> and a religious zealot throws beads at you. Wait, wait, what'd you say? What was that last one? Nayuda Sadmadi from Spirit of Justice. I thought you said Zelda in the middle of that. No, no, zealot. Zealots. I... I am so deaf. 
This, this is what happens when you play drums. You just gradually lose your hearing. Understandable. Uh. Okay. Right before he died. And he died at 6 a.m. This doesn't say when it was taken, so... Okay, these last two things, I don't care. I don't care about them. These two things, I don't care about. That's not important yet. Hmm. No. Uh, that, that statement doesn't matter. You need help? Not yet. All right. This one doesn't matter because it's true. Probably the camera here. There we go. Yeah, each, each, each room my foot. Huh? Eat each room my ass. Each oh I thought you said eat. I no, no, wow no. I am having severe mental problems. What was it you told me yesterday? Well I I can't I can't remember. Dementia? I said lots of stuff. Lots of heart. Let me remind you then. Wow, two two of those jokes in the same episode. This is getting bad. Mr. Ravellas had the cameras removed from his room a while ago. He said they spoke to him, you know. Oh, right. That's right. Mr. Right. You have lots of footage of Mr. Parker, but you're lacking video of the most important thing. The moment of the crime. There were no security cameras in the penthouse. S sorry I must have forgotten that. That was awfully convenient of you to forget. You thought this would be easy, didn't you? Yes, there are no cameras in that room. I can't imagine why the witness would forget something trivial like that. Trivial? Yes, trivial. We don't need footage of the murder. Because the point remains that the defendant was the only one to have, a, to have an opportunity. Oh, um, yeah, he's right. Mr. Parker entered the penthouse. He was the last one to do so before Miss Keys discovered the body. Mr. Wright, would you like to say anything to this? It's not a matter of if I want to. If I don't, then this trial's already over. Mr. Williamson, I believe that someone di else did enter that room, but managed to evade the security system. Ha! Huh. Bah humbug! Nonsense! Did you just make that up? Hell yeah I did, yes and no. I have a general idea of where I'm trying to go with this. Quit whispering amongst yourselves and give me some answers. How do you propose that somebody avoided an intricate network of cameras and alarms? And no, I will not accept ninjas as an answer. I wasn't planning on it. It would have been my first guess. Of course it would. Blind guessing gets you nowhere in this world. We are here in court to find solid answers. Proof, not supposition. It was a joke. Save the humor for another time. And we're still waiting, right? Why all the hostility from this guy? Actually, it's not that complicated. Bypassing the system would have been very easy. Hmm. Oh, yeah, because the the blackout. There you go. If I recall correctly, there was a power outage that morning. Yes. This would have been the perfect opportunity for a third party to sneak in. An opportunity, yes, but that doesn't mean it actually happened. You can't just ignore the fact that for almost an hour, every camera in the building wasn't working. I'm not ignoring anything. It's you who are overlooking the fact that, Reva that the Revales Tower had multiple layers of security not all of which required electricity to function. Miss Keys being one of them. Uh, me? Miss Keys was stationed at the reception desk. She would have seen anybody who came in the room. Ouch. 
Somehow, I forgot that there was a person watching the area the whole time. Why don't we ask her ourselves? Miss Keys, did you see anybody else enter the penthouse? Nope. No, I didn't. There's only one way in and out of that room, and that's through me. Nobody could have gotten in without me knowing. Here are the floor plans, floor plans for the building. You will see that what she says is true. There is only one door leading into the penthouse. The only way to access this door is through reception, where the witness was. I see, but what is this strange symbol on the left side? There would be a window. Mr. Ravellis had a rather large bay window from which he could view the entire cityscape. The court accepts these floor plans as evidence. The prosecution would also like to present this photo of the crime scene. So much blood, there must have been a very serious wound. He is dead after all, your honor. And that, as they say, is that. Ugh. This trial is spinning out of control faster than I can say guilty. I believe that we've heard enough. I see no reason no reason to prolong this trial. The jury may decide it's Yes, Mr. Williamson. Your Honor, at the beginning I said that it was the prosecution's goal to prove Wayne Parker is guilty. Of all of Sir Galante's crimes. We have yet to even touch on the subject. Oh yes, I'd forgotten about that. We can't have that man walking away only charged with one murder now, can we? It would be an injustice to the dead. This is just great. He held off the verdict so that he can so that he could add even more punishment. Sir Galante leaves his mark after each crime. The nature of this mark is known only to the top people on the investigation. In question, the defendant knew a rather suspicious amount about it. So he was privy to knowledge that he should not have been. Does the defense have anything to say regarding this accusation? Eh, uh -huh. no. Nick, you'd better think up something fast. Also, um, want to take a moment to listen to uh, Williamson's theme? Yeah. This is from Castlevania Judgment. Oh, I fucking box. This is a, nice. this is a good theme. Good. <laughs> they, they don't give get out of jail free cards to serial killers. I know. I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Remember everything Cody told us about Sir Galante. He gave us that. He gave us that neat poster and everything. Wow. I wonder what the answer could be. Are you sure Cody is the best person to be looking for to for information? Yeah. Well, at the moment, he's all we've got. We know barely anything about Sir Galante besides what he told us. That's all we have to go on here. I guess she's right. Is there any evidence which shows that Mr. Parker isn't Sir Galante? Uh, slay the evil, protect the innocent, I mean... I mean, not really, but I guess I'll present the poster. Yeah, that was a trick. I don't know when this load is from, so I'm just going to take the penalty and then save after. Right, I'd like to thank you. Really? For what? For making my job easier. Yes, and mine as well. Y you're welcome. Okay, now let me actually save. Okay, so that was a trick. So I guess I'll try this photo. Because if he's there, then Wayne Parker couldn't have been both here and be down in the, the penthouse at the same time. No. Yeah, I'm... you. Okay. I mean, what, what you're saying is right, and yet that evidence somehow doesn't count. I. It should. So. 
58. He has aged amazingly well for 58 in this profession. Yeah. Damn. Like, that's a lot of stress you got to deal with as a, as a lawyer. Not even a trace of a white hair. <laughs> okay, well, uh, I am now stuck because I have no idea what the hell the evidence could be. Shall I tell you? Uh, give me a hint, I guess. Unless, unless you have to tell me what it is. Maybe not. So, here, here's the argument we're trying to make. We're, we're trying to make the argument that Sir Galante was up there and Wayne Parker was down there, right? Yeah. You showed evidence that Sir Galante was up there. That didn't work, even though it should oh. have. Uh, so... Okay, there we go. Let's take a look at that security tape again. What do we see? Why, I see the defendant. Presumably on his way into the penthouse. Right, Sarah? Right. What are you getting at? I see nothing strange. And therein lies our problem. What do you mean? It's not what I see so much, so, so much, so much as it's what I don't see. Prosecutor, what is Sir Galante known for dressing up as when he kills his victims? That's classified. Nevertheless, somewhere along the line, that information got leaked. And now teenage boys everywhere are able to imitate him to their heart's content. It's a knight, isn't it? Yes. Tell me, where in this picture do you see a knight? I don't. Finally, some progress. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking that you finally made some progress. Well, that's not the case. What, he's a mind reader too now? And no, I'm not a mind reader, but you're overlooking one very important thing. Just because Galante is famous for his knight armor, doesn't mean that he has to wear it everywhere he goes. Or maybe he decided to go undercover this time. I actually have a problem with the idea that this was even one of the Galante killings to begin with. What? Dick, what are you talking about? Sir Galante personally confessed to us last night. What? what Maya, that, that was Mark Waters. I, I know, but they never believed that. <laughs> They'd accuse me. <laughs> What's so funny? <laughs> What's we'll, so we'll see. We'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll see if you're right. They'd accuse me of making it up to cover for the defendant. I'm just trying to buy Mr. Parker some more time. What do you mean? Of course it was Sir Galante. How can you be so sure? The scene fits his current M.O. to the T. M.O.T. Mott. His handwriting is all over it. W what? Why would he draw on the crime scene? Metaphorically speaking, of course. I disagree. Once again, something very important is missing. You disagree? Ha! Huh, this is rich. What do you know? I've been chasing after this guy for three years. You didn't even know he existed until yesterday. Yesterday was enough. Detective Waters told me enough to know that something very big is missing from the crime scene. What's missing? What are we looking for? Uh... I mean... I don't know. But I mean... Probably his murder weapon because he uses a giant ass sword. So The question can be answered with our evidence, Your Honor. Can it? Well then, please show me. Okay, well, not that. Let's try that again. Okay, well, I guess I don't know then because I don't know what else it could be. So I'm gonna say, truth be told, I'm not exactly sure. I have a very general idea, though. Tell me, Galante's mark. We had a chance to investigate the crime scene yesterday. We found nothing out of the ordinary. It looks like Detective Waters needs some more supervision. If he's letting a defense attorney onto the scene. Mr. Whoops. Williamson? Huh? We weren't supposed to let Williamson know about that because he'd get mad. Uh, well. Uh, too bad, so then sad, again, Mark Waters. And again, detectives are always getting dragged by the prosecution. 
You know, at least he's at least he probably won't suffer as many salary cuts as a uh, one certain detective. Mr. Williamson, oh. did you know that the mark was not found? Yes, I did. However, that's irrelevant. The mark, but the marks are never found right away. Wait, what? Galante doesn't leave his marks at the scene of the crime. I never said that, and I'm sure that Detective Waters didn't either. Where does this? Where does he leave them? Usually in a nearby building. They always have a photo of the victim on the ground beside them. It makes it easy easy for us to identify his hits. That's strange. Why are they so confident that Sir Galante is the killer? They apparently haven't even found the mark yet. We have other ways of telling when he's killed somebody. It's just never confirmed until we find the mark. What are these ways? Weapon type, position of the body, ferocity of the attack. That's all circumstantial until you find the mark, though. Sometimes circumstantial is all you need. I believe that you're familiar with this concept. Aren't you right? Wait, is he referring to that case? Uh. Oh. Why would he be? Why would he be upset about that? The prosecution remains convinced that Galante was the culprit here. Unless you can somehow prove that the defendant didn't commit this crime. I see no reason why we can't end things now. Agreed. Uh-oh. Looks like things just got turned around again. Ferocity of the attack. Ferocity of the attack. Hey, you know, I thought it was kind of strange how Wayne had torn open Mr. Ravella's body so much. Stop. It seemed like overkill. Now I realize why. It's because he's Sir Galante. A superhero has to be dramatic. So he had to create a dramatic scene. If I want this to keep going, I'm going to need this woman to talk more. Sarah, you found the body, didn't you? Uh-huh. Would you like to say anything about it? Only that it was totally messy. Oh my god, stop. I'd advise against questioning the witness on this corpse. She tends to get a bit excited. Hey, that's not nice. But it's true. Do I want her to testify some more? I mean... If Pers you, personally, you, personally, I'm gonna fucking hate this, but let's just go for it. As much as I'd like to keep the trial going, as much as I'd like to avoid it, this might be our only chance. The defense requests that the witness testify about when she found the body. Well, Mr. Williamson, let us speak. Nothing's going to change, but don't say that I didn't warn you. Miss Keys, please tell us about your discovery of the body. Um. Okay. Gutted to death. Oh boy, it's already it's already off to a strong start. I noticed that Mr. Ravellis hadn't left his office for a while, so I went to check on him. I found him dead on the ground. The knife, the moita weapon, was lying right next to his body. I rushed to call the police right away after that. Mm. Okay, that was that, that wasn't so bad. You did a good deed calling the police. That's what any good citizen would do. Gee, thanks. Need I remind you, Your Honor, that this woman works for the mob? I hate needless banter. Right, your cross examination, please. This guy's a stick in the mud. Well, he needs to, <laughs> I don't know, he needs to fucking chill. Maybe have some fun once in a while. Do you normally check up on him? I usually only went in if he needed something. He'd call my cell phone if he wanted me. However, that morning, I hadn't seen him since Wayne left. I thought to myself, 
I'll bet Wayne killed him, don't you know? Okay. Where do I even begin to count the number of logical fallacies this woman makes? When he had guests, he'd usually phone me to let me know when they were leaving. But not this time! He was probably dead by that point. Yeah, probably. Ouch. This isn't going to help my case. Uh... Now, let's test fate. The defendant entered the room and then left. Shortly after, when Miss Keys came in, she found him dead. What conclusion are we to come to from this? Well, it would appear that the defendant killed him, wouldn't it? That's correct. This is the only logical conclusion. When I went around... When I went in there around 6.15, he was already dead. He'd probably been that way for a few minutes already. According to the autopsy, this statement is accurate. Hold on. What you just said. I think it's very important. According to the autopsy. No, not you. The witness. Oh, me? I don't see any other witnesses around here. Your Honor, I request that the state the witness add her last test state <sighs> add her last te last testimony to her statement. Miss Keys, you heard him. Okay. Okay. Are you sure about that? You betcha. I still have my cell phone. I could see the time from that. I can't remember exactly when Wayne left, but it was just a little before that. About how long would you say? I don't know. Maybe a few minutes at most? This is the only opportunity the killer would have had. That brief period between when Mr. Parker left and when Sarah entered the room. As opposed to dead on the ceiling? <laughs> oh, you're being silly. You couldn't find a body on the ceiling. Oh, wait. Maybe you could have even impaled it with a... <laughs> you know, this woman would be a pretty good Saw Game Master. That's all I'll say. I think that's enough. We don't want to hear any more of your sick fantasies. I was just offering a hypotheorical situation. That is not a word. That's not a word, is it? I, I think... I, oh, 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 no, 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 Phoenix is coming in to... Yep. I think you mean hypothetical. Is that what the void is? I always get those two mixed up. The other one doesn't exist. I'm pretty sure what you used isn't even a word. Basically what I just said. No, I almost saw it and I saw it in the thesaurus once. You mean the dictionary? There's a difference? Oh my fucking god. Something tells me she isn't the type to casually browse through either. Does this conversation have a point? No, not really. Then why are we having it? Could you tell us more about the knife? Yeah, it was totally bloody and gross. Ugh. I think there was still <laughs> some little pieces of... <laughs> uh, no, that's not what I meant. Huh? Could you tell us more about... Hmm... The knife's victim. Wow, I wonder who that could be. Uh, the knife's owner. That's Mr. Edgeworth. That's literally, it's literally his name. Uh, how about, actually, how about I save here? First of all, how about the design of it? What did the knife look like? Well, kind of like that one. Thank you, Captain Obvious. I was hoping to hear more about it from you. Oh, well, 
Star, you just want to hear my voice some more, don't you? <laughs> no. S sure, whatever gets you talking, I guess. It had a rather pretty blade. About a half foot, maybe? Hmm. 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 Nope, that is the wrong button. Okay. Uh... Such a shame it was used the way that it was. Hmm. Yep. This sounds very important. Please add it to your testimony. Okay. It's a very nice knife with a five inch blade perfectly suited for tearing through flesh. How the fuck would you know that? You fucking psycho. A five-inch nice. blade. Huh? Uh-huh. I can measure it if you want. That's okay. I'll take your word for it. By the way, um, the, I just want to point out that there were other statements you could have pressed that would have gotten her to go on a long tangent that would have been... that would have had a lot of gory details. Well, I'm glad that I skipped that because we're not doing that. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> However, there's one thing I can't take your word on, and that's this knife being the murder weapon. What? I thought the police had verified that it was the weapon. Let's take a look at the autopsy report. It says that the wound is seven inches deep. There's no way you could create a seven inch wound with a five inch blade. No, he could have, you know, shoved it in all the way. That. That's not how that works, but I... All the way up to the handle. No, that can't be true either. The blade of this knife is covered in blood, but there isn't a single drop on the handle. The one thing we can assume from this glaring contradiction is that the killer would have needed to use a much larger weapon than this knife. Oh. Oh. Right. But, um, I think there's still a problem. What's that, Miss Keys? Couldn't Wayne have, like, cut him up more than once? <laughs> he could easily cut that deep. He'd just use it like a saw, you know. Ugh. Ugh. Cut past all that tissue oh my and God. bone with several Stop. Stop it! <laughs> well, Mr. Wright. <laughs> I'm fine. Why did I do that? I just that Why description indeed. that description just made me lose all brain power. No, that oh. doesn't make any sense. It, it doesn't. No, take another look at the autopsy report. It says that there was only one cut. That means a sawing motion wasn't possible. Mm. Well, Sarah. Sorry, maybe not. Perhaps you have an idea of what the real murder weapon could have been? And why should she? Are you trying to accuse my witness of murder, right? I'm not even going down that path. What are you- What? No, he would never do that to me. Oh, I totally would. But not right now. If you're going to make accusations, I want to see evidence. Do you have anything to show that Miss Keys killed the victim? I, I didn't exactly accuse her. Yet. She did lie about the murder weapon. Lied? Or was simply mistaken? Uh, I promise you I wasn't lying. I think. Well, that just inspires all the confidence in the world. Of course you weren't. You see, this witness, unlike the defendant, has no motive to lie. I'll grant you that the knife wasn't the murder weapon. Truth be told, I've had my doubts ever since the autopsy was written. Then why would you present it like that? I didn't. She did. Huh? Wow. You're a fucking coward. The true murder weapon will probably never be found. I... Ugh. <sighs> well, you proved one thing. The knife wasn't what killed Mr. Rivales. 
Yes, but what did that accomplish? I guess nothing. Oh, man. We're, what? we're, back, we're back to square one. D yeah, that did nothing, apparently. Oh, no, no, I got a new statement. Do you want to say that? What? Was the knife the Moida weapon? Who knows? I think we just proved that it wasn't. Maybe. I don't know. I think it's still really suspicious that it was all covered in blood and stuff. There's a strong possibility that the knife was not the murder weapon. However, that does not clear the defendant's name. He was still at the crime scene at the time of the murder. Oh, well, right. What he said. When you say right away, you mean immediately after finding the body? As soon as I got over the shock of finding my boss's guts spilled all over the floor. Oh, I thought she was going to go on a tangent. <laughs> Finding my boss's guts spilled out all over, you know? How much time would you say passed? I don't know. A minute or two? It was pretty disgusting and I was pretty grossed out. Doesn't sound like you really were. It would be I'm a reason expecting her to ramble. I'm yeah. expecting her to ramble any minute now, and I'm just trying to read her dialogue faster. Okay. It would be reasonable. It would be a reasonable rea reaction to finding a dead body. The police have a record of the call. We can confirm that Miss Keys is the one who made it. There's also the security tapes. Security tapes? Yep, I made the call while I was in the recep- I made the call while I was in reception. There's a video of me doing it. We can confirm this as well. Hmm. Is there something wrong with that? There's always something wrong. Witness. Gah! Surely you can see the contradiction you've just made in your own story. I can't. Maybe I should point it out for you. The black box data. It couldn't have recorded her unless she made the call after this. Which that would have been... Found the body at 6.15, 12 minutes, over 12 minutes, and no cell phone call. Sarah, you've just contradicted yourself. According to you, you checked up on the victim close to 6.15. What? When did I say that? Like 10 minutes ago. About 30 seconds ago. Never mind, not 10 minutes. You don't remember? Well, maybe... <laughs> uh, if, if you entered the penthouse at 6.15 and called the police a few minutes later... It would be impossible for there to be a security recording of you. How come? If you recall, there was a power outage that morning. So? So, it lasted until 627. You entered the penthouse around 615. There was almost a 15 minute gap between when you entered the penthouse and your call to the police. Oh, come on. What he's saying is that it's obvious you didn't call right away. Oh, yeah. You're right. Maybe I didn't. Get this woman off the stand. Sarah, what were you doing during that 15-minute period? I don't know. I kind of forgot. Oh God. Thou shalt not lie, Miss Keys. Please tell us what you were doing. That... That is... Bleh. Well? Oi, me, oi, me, oi. Speak clearly. I was looking for my phone. I lost it during the blackout and I was having trouble finding it. I had to wait until the power came back on before I could see it. That sounds like the biggest cop-out answer ever. Come on, even you could see through this bullshit, right? Sarah, I could accept a small slip-up. But your testimony has shown not one, but two major contradictions. So? 
I can't accept that as just coincidence. First, you conveniently lose your phone when you need it the most. And then it turns out that it was impossible for the supposed murder weapon to have killed the victim. Well, I, I guess I was mistaken. I'd say that's also rather convenient. I'm going to stop you before you go any further. This woman is innocent. Don't even think about accusing her. You will not throw out this case like that. Throw out? Accuse? I... I hadn't... I know your tricks. You hadn't, but you were going to. You're just jumping to conclusions. That does tend to be how your trials turn out. Not during a second case. What does? You know, accuse the witness and prove they're the real killer. I mean, I mean, that is true, but... Could I speak for just a moment? No, shut up. She was the only other person on the floor that morning. Maybe. Just like a defense attorney to place the blame anywhere but on their own client. I'll place the blame on whoever deserves it. Or on whoever you say deserves it. Excuse me? Mr. Wright, were you going to accuse the witness of murder? I don't actually have anything that connects her to the crime. It would be idiotic to try that. No, Your Honor. Well, then perhaps we should... <laughs> Shut up and listen to me while I'm talking! <laughs> Parker killed him! It doesn't matter whether or not he used that knife! <laughs> and it doesn't matter what I called the police! <sighs> He's still the only one who went into the room! I'm glad I wasn't drinking when you did that. There, there was the blackout. Weren't you listening to me before? I would have still seen anybody coming into the room, and I didn't say anybody. Parker entered. Parker left. Nobody else. That certainly puts a damper on the defense's case, doesn't it? Yes, if the defendant was the only one to come into that room, then he's the only possible murderer. Let's close this case up. There's no reason to make it longer than it has to be. No, not yet. Wait, Your Honor. I request that the witness testify again. No. We still haven't heard a detailed report on the blackout. You mean a detailed report on nothing? You wanted to testify on all the suspicious people she didn't see the pass through? There had to have been some gap where the killer snuck in. The killer didn't sneak in. He walked right past her. She has testified to this very fact. Crap. Poor Mr. Parker. I agree with Mr. Williamson on this. There's no reason to hear from the witness again. Um, actually, yeah, I'll testify. Miss Keys, I'd really appreciate it if you left those kind of decisions up to me. No, you know, it's okay. I'm totally fine with handling the responsibility. That's not what I meant. Let me do it, Mr. Judge. I can tell you all about how it has to be Wayne. The witness wants to testify, Your Honor. Are you really going to deprive her of that pleasure? Right. No, I suppose not. If it means that much to you, I see no reason not to. This is absurd. Sucker. This will, <laughs> this will be just a waste of time. How quiet you. What? I'm doing this for I'm doing this for you, though, Feeny Poo. Yeah. <laughs> So that means this Saturday. No! Hey, wait. Just agree to it, Nick. Fine, I'll go on a stupid date with her. Is that really the only way? Who knows? Maybe there'll be a way that she can end up serving time in the detention center and she'll miss that Saturday, eh? 
Maybe. <laughs> so, so I guess a testimony, right? About the blackout, right? Even after the lights went out, I could still see flying. I would have seen anybody coming up the elevator or the stairs. Those are the only two ways into the penthouse. Wayne's the only one I saw during that time. Mm -mm. Not only did the defendant enter the room, it was impossible for anybody else to go in after him without the witness knowing. Right! Only one person had an opportunity to attack the victim. The rest doesn't matter. Right! Only one person, huh? Oh my god. <laughs> right! Oh my god. <laughs> This is just great. Things are looking worse than before. Yes, but this might also be the break we've been looking for. If you say so. Can you see what the big break is? Uh, I don't think so. Because I was not paying attention a lot. I was having a mild coughing fit. Oh, is that why you were... Is, is that why there's been, like, a few seconds before you've said, said lines? Yes, because I was about to cough, and I was trying to stifle my coughs. <coughs> oh, or, or you can just mute. Yeah, but that would take work, and I don't want to do that. I mean, there is a button on my microphone to mute, but I don't trust my <laughs> microphone after that one time with Outer Wilds, so I'm not going to fuck around with it. Anyway... Uh, Fair enough. Plus. How could you see without any light? There's a window in that hallway. The moon gave enough, off enough light for me to see. See right here. Yeah, it's always a bright full moon yeah. when the plot needs it to be. <laughs> That's... <laughs> That's a pretty small window. Yeah, I actually think it's kind of tacky to have it there. Would moonlight alone be enough to recognize another person? Maybe not enough to recognize someone. But that's kind of pointless if no one else showed up, you know? I guess so. Which, I guess, brings me to my next point. You didn't see anybody else during the blackout? No. Nobody. Nobody at all? No. You, you sure about that? She said no. Stop badgering her. Sustained. We have no reason to believe that she saw anyone else. Do I have any evidence that proves otherwise? Huh. I mean... I guess the fact that... I guess the fact that it could have been Sir Galante, but I'm pretty sure we said earlier that we don't think Sir Galante is behind this killing. At least I think that's what we said. So I'm going to let it pass for now. I don't think I have anything that shows another person came through the reception area. Maybe she's telling the truth? Oh, okay, so maybe this is where I do something. Could there be some other way? Event, perhaps? Um, 
No, I don't, I don't think so. That's not good enough. Why are we arguing over how somebody might have snuck into the room? There isn't anything to show that it actually happened. Nobody else went up there. End of story. If there was another way in, then her testimony is completely invalid. It's up to you to prove that then, isn't it? Please continue, Miss Keys. You betcha. By the way, if there are instances where I take several seconds to say my line, it's because while this is happening, I'm watching a video walkthrough to make sure that I'm ready to give you answers if you ever get stuck. Oh, okay. Gotcha. There had to have been somebody else. Do we really need to keep pressing this point? She either saw somebody or she didn't. And she says she didn't. What if there was somebody she couldn't see? Again with the ninjas. Is this whole trial a big joke to you? Stop trying to make me look like an idiot. You never said that. <laughs> By making excuses like that, you only succeed in making yourself look like an idiot. And stop reading my thoughts. Sarah, there has to be some way you missed the killer. But I did see him. It was Wayne. No, no, no. The real killer. Aw, oh, look at you. Oh You're so God. cute when you're angry. <laughs> I'd be a lot less angry if you were more helpful. Sorry, I can't lie in here, you know. Wayne totally did it. She seems intent on getting Mr. Parker convicted. Wait, no, I already pressed that, didn't I? Yeah, I did. Okay. Alright, so... What are you thinking? Uh, she would not have seen anybody coming up the stairs. And I, I don't know where her desk is. So, if it's anywhere in this square, and like not on the left side, then there's no way because there's a door blocking off the stair entrance. And perhaps the person comes up the stair. You can see my mouse, right? I can. So yeah, the person would come up the stairs and just hide over on the corner. Boom, they're in. So I think that's that's my first idea. Objection. That is not correct, okay. Damn. Mm. And another thought I had was maybe the killer came in through the roof or the window because the window was also open but I don't know if I have any evidence showing that the uh, that the window was open unless this doesn't really show that the window is open does it wait no I remember because Mark Waters well, can... commented on the fact that it was cold in the room or maybe it was Phoenix so I'm gonna try the yeah, window. You... <laughs> nice I'm sorry but you're wrong there is at least one more way to get into the penthouse suite <laughs> no. -uh. Oh my God. Yeah. Uh -huh. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. -huh. You asked for it. <laughs> try, try taking another. Try taking another look at that map. Getting into that room wouldn't be possible, not without going past Miss Keys at least. It's you who needs to look again, prosecutor. You're overlooking something very obvious. Let me guess. The killer magically teleported in. I'm sure you have a crazy answer to give us all. No, the real answer is very simple. How did the killer know the room? Prosecutor, what did you say the symbol on the map meant? That's a window. Why? It just so happens that at the crime scene, this particular window was open. Why would there be an open window? At that high up, it would be really chilly. Exactly. There's no reasonable explanation for the penthouse window to be open. Unless... Enough! Ugh. I can think up a dozen good reasons for somebody to open it. The fact that it was open means nothing. 
I think it does. You want you wanted a way somebody could sneak in, and I gave it to you. Do you even know what you're saying? You expect anyone in this room to buy that some person scaled a 30-story building and then entered one of the windows from the outside? The mere thought of it is absurd. Those windows don't even open from that direction. What? We checked it. It's impossible to enter from the outside without breaking the glass. Well, uh... Well, buddy. Buddy old pal. There's some broken glass right here. Ta-da! The window was still open, though. Somehow, for whatever reason, somebody opened it. Detective Waters and his team w were ordered to leave the scene as they found it. So it had to have been open when the murder occurred. It still doesn't prove that some kind of ninja assassin climbed 350 feet up the side of a building. I never said it was a ninja or an assassin! No, it doesn't. The window is just the entry point. However, I can prove that somebody else was... Somebody else was up there who shouldn't have been. Excuse me? Oh, the photo, I guess. There you go. I've been trying to present this photo for the past, like, 40 minutes. W what is this? Why haven't I seen that photo yet? I'm sure you would have by now, if you'd let a certain teenager onto the crime scene. Don't you dare tell me how to do my job! There's some kind of robot on the roof. Actually, Your Honor, if I had to guess, I'd say that it's a human. And it's the human who killed Michael Ravallis. You can't prove that person is related to the crime. It's probably just a janitor fixing something. Bro. What kind of janitor do you see in such a villainous pose like this? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> really? Tell me, prosecutor. What kind of janitor would be dressed up like they're ready to slay a dragon? <laughs> Ugh. You do bring up a good point, Mr. Wright. This figure on the roof is certainly suspicious. I'd like to remind the court that Sir Galante is said to favor a night-themed motif. Something we can also say about our mystery prowler. I'm gonna insert the, the prowler theme right here. Since my client was seen by the witness entering through the hallway, he couldn't be the person on the roof. You're assuming this knight is the killer. Even if he was on the roof, how did he make it into the penthouse? Through the window! That's a good 20 feet from the top of the building. What, was this knight also some kind of human arachnid? Last I checked, people can't climb solid metal walls. Somebody dressed as Sir Galante was hiding... Somebody dressed as Sir Galante was hiding on the roof when the crime happened. How did he get into that room? I don't know! Damn. Wow. Well, it looks like neither side has the answers to everything. No, I suppose not. Perhaps it would be best if we extended the trial. The defense is fine with this, Your Honor. As is the prosecution. We agree on something. Very well. Court is adjourned until tomorrow. Congratulations, you survived oh. trial day two. Wow. I thought that was actually going to be longer and there was going to be like a a, a, a a recess in the middle for something. Yeah, but, me uh, no. too. All right, well, uh, we're going to get into this second investigation segment next time.